claim to have seen a UFO. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. Hill Incident is a game that I'm really excited for, for the simple fact that, well, it looks good and also because there is almost no horror survival projects that involve aliens like this, aliens that are coming from horrific stories of people and books in real life, not aliens that are coming in hordes and to be compared to an action shooter. The year is 1992, the small neighborhood of the outlying village Grey Hill is concerned about the paranormal incidents during the past days. They are afraid to end up in a psychiatric yard so they decided to avoid calling the police but prepared by boarding up the windows of their houses and founding a neighborhood watch. But does boarding up houses really help when it comes to an absolute alien invasion? You'll experience the horrifying story of Greyhill. As an average guy named Ryan Baker, armed with a baseball bat and revolver, your path is to get across the outlying village to save your neighbors. But use your ammo and baseball bat with caution, because there is not many. Sneak through the open areas of the atmospheric village invited by aliens. You'll solve tasks and investigate the neighboring houses and barns, search for useful tools and ammo to overcome the invasion, hide, run or fight to avoid getting caught by the greys. The neighborhood of Grey Hill is communicating by walkie talkies to avoid getting caught outside. In the game you'll be able to meet unique characters like Brendan the Veteran or Ryan's brother Bob the Lunatic who will guide you through the village. You'll also be free to knock on any doors of the neighborhood to ask for additional information and cooperate with these people. Grey Hill Incident is developed by fans of the classic Grey Alien and UFO topic. It is a fictional story which is inspired by several books, stories, incidents and combined with familiar horror game mechanics. The main gameplay mechanic will be survival by avoiding the aliens, being sneaky and using your bullets and baseball bat with caution again. The developers are more focusing on a cool story and atmosphere. And of course, the special thing they've got is the concept of a classic alien invasion of the survival horror. Other NPCs will guide you by walkie talkie through the village, a bit like in the Blair Witch game for example. You'll meet some of those people, they aren't only on walkie talkie. The game at its core is not open world but the areas are bigger than in linear games. The village is split in multiple areas after the prologue. Every area has its task, for example in one area you need to find a tool to open a fence and so on. While doing this you are free to explore the area of the village, finding ammo and some additional information about the story. You can break into some of the neighboring houses to search for your tools and so on. The game won't be a classic creepy like horror game, it's more of a stressful survival horror like Resident Evil 8 for example. The developers working on this game have always been huge fans of just e everything UFOs in general and one of the developers that I'm communicating with has a lot of knowledge in building a strong atmosphere and that's the strength of this game which it looks awesome. For more on this game, make sure you support this video, that would really help the developers, and make sure you wishlist the game on Steam right now and subscribe.